Hey guys, Nas here with another video. In this video, I'll be going over my setup for Christopher. She's the third in Harrier we get, so let's go over everything you need to know. She's holy base, and every time you summon her, she'll gain plus 5 attack and 2 magic when you complete a mission until she reaches these stats. Let's go over her in Harrier attack, and then we'll cover her normal moves. In Harrier attacks activate when they are summoned and won't trigger until you summon them again. This means we should be using the best one to get the most value out of this. Charge Blast is pretty good as it's a multi-hit charge towards your enemy which caps at 25 hits on a single target. After the charge it'll explode with a moderate AoE radius. Deadly Dive is a very good single target burst and it also pushes the enemy back giving you a moment's reprieve. Lumina First is a horizontal AoE shockwave cleave. This is very good when you're fighting multiple enemies. Extreme Void takes around 4 seconds to get off, but it's a moderate AoE attack that does heavy damage. This is consistently your best attack from my testing, and you should equip this as soon as you get it. Now your normal moves are what they'll be using for the remainder of the time they are on the battlefield. A Sailing Strike seems good from the little clip, right? But in actual usage, she does like 2 hits and dodge rolls away consistently, which is a massive DPS loss. Replace this ASAP. Rage Swing is good when it works. It suffers the same issue with a Sailing Strike, where she'll do a swing and then dodge roll, which is a lot of downtime equaling to a DPS loss again. Penetrating Roar works just like our art, Grave Edge. It goes off twice, but it usually misses the second hit as she doesn't turn around, which whiffs half her damage most of the time. Lumina Second is like Lumina First, except the difference is it's a vertical slash. Since our melee attack seemed to whiff a lot due to the AI programming, I stuck with this one for the most consistent damage as it could infinitely loop until she runs out of time. She's the first in Harrier that I actually set her time to 15 seconds because her in Harrier attacks are so much better than her normal attacks. Now that we set up our in Harrier, let's go over our arts. Holy base arts get powered up if we use them while Christopher is out, and we're infused with them. I say this because you can have two Inheriors out, which may override the Holy Infuse buff. Grave Edge is a charge attack, like our normal move Penetrating Roar, where we charge the enemy with a Holy attack. If used under Christopher's buff, then I'll add an additional charge. Extreme Void is a literal replica of our Inheriors attack. If used under the Holy buff, then I'll spawn one additional blast. This is my go-to Holy Art as it's burst damage while Grave Edge is sustain damage. They both do the same damage over the course of time, but I'd rather have all that damage right away than in small chunks. So pick your preference. And with that, I give you my setup I use for my whole playthrough on hard mode. Don't forget, if this video brought you value, please leave a like and consider subscribing to see more as I play a wide array of RPG games and I break them down just like this. Until the next video, I'll see ya.